It looks like I've got all the top secret stuff hidden, except for one thing. We've got something new to check out today, guys. We've got the new RC four-wheel drive Trail Finder 2 long wheelbase with the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ55 body. And I have to admit something to you as a Jeep guy, I didn't even know the FJ55 existed. It was just not in my wheelhouse. I do appreciate all different brands. Uh, I just don't follow Toyota that closely. But with that said, I'm actually pretty interested in it now that I see it. It's a really unique looking body set. I'm sure it's really important to the lineage of this vehicle, of the Land Cruisers. Uh, so I'm into it. I want to check it out. I can't wait to build it up. It is a full build up kit. There's a clear body on the inside. Looks, we, well, looks like we've got an interior, lots of accessories to bolt on. I'm seeing no body clips whatsoever. So it's a really cool looking kit. And you know, the Trail Finder 2, that's an established kit that people love because of the leaf spring suspension on there. Um, so I'm into it, but I want to show you guys what's involved in the kit so you can see what it's all about. We're going to follow up in another video with the, the full test run, but at least in this video, you see what's included. All right, let's crack open the box. So first up, I got to say pretty cool looking box from RC four wheel drive. Really like the graphics on here. The body examples are pretty good. I'm noticing, uh, that this kit does come with the Yoda two axles, rock stomper, one five fives, uh, even some stamped steel wheels on here. That looks pretty cool. You will need all the electronics for this and building supplies, of course. Uh, they don't give you anything, but uh, some of the parts are assembled for the truck itself. And the truck chassis is here, and this is the body set box. All right, let me grab this out of here. And just like that, with the magic of a video cut, I've got everything out of the box. Now, let's take a look at the body set first. Again, this is a Lexan body set, but there are a lot of molded parts on the inside. I've already taken a peek at what's inside, and let me go slide this out here there we go and parts are already falling out of the bags that i cut open so let's see let me go spread all this stuff out here oh boy okay i've got everything out of the packaging that is going to make looking at all the parts a lot easier and i could already tell i have a lot of building painting and detailing ahead of me there is a lot involved in this kit let's start off by looking at the lexan body and i think they pretty much captured the fj55 look uh yes it is lexan a hard body probably would have been nicer but they did a pretty good job here the lexan seems to be pretty thick so it shouldn't wobble around too much especially once you get the interior installed in here you get to paint that up uh, whatever color you like as well and i'm not sure what i'm gonna choose for paint just yet you know i've i've seen the green uh that you see on the box art there i've also seen where they have the, the where they have the lower section blue that might be a good option as well let me know in the comments below what you think i should do with it or should i just do something totally custom on this body shell and something you know far out from the normal just replica look or should i stick to something really scale looking let me know all right back to the body set here let's check out some of these molded plastic pieces there's our bumpers out back looks like an interior panel probably for the rear of the truck uh, some mounting plates we've got a steering wheel for the dashboard there's all your hardware parts looks like we've got some velcro for the mounting as well uh, lots of chrome parts, which is really cool. Check out that front grill, very FJ55 like. That's gonna look really good. Um, maybe I'm gonna paint that black. Hmm, I'm already thinking of stuff as I'm talking uh, this out with you guys. Nice mirrors, vent pieces. Uh, looks like we got light buckets as well. We could throw LED lights in there if we want to. Chrome windshield wipers. We've got some more plastic bits here. Kind of looks like maybe some interior mounting pieces. And here's our body mounts. And then over here is the uh, decal sheets that comes with it. So you could go and just simply add a color to this body, throw these decals on and have a really cool looking rig if you want to. There are window decals as well. Looks like these will tint out the windows, give you your window trim. Although I might want to just go and paint that window trim myself. They do give you these window masks so I could go in and cut out thinner trim than the larger black uh, trim that they have on the decal sheets. But you know, it is there for those of you that don't want to go crazy with the detailing, just like the look of the body. Here is the instruction manual and there are a lot of pages to this thing. So yeah, it's probably gonna be just as much building as the chassis itself. 
And speaking of that, uh, let's go uh, clean this table off here and I will show you the Trailfinder 2 chassis set that this comes with. So here's all the parts to create the Trailfinder 2 long wheelbase crawler. And it's hard to believe that all this stuff will turn into a 110 scale crawler, but it's easy to do with the instruction manual. Really like the artwork on the RC four wheel drive manual there. <laughs> Looking really good guys. Uh, let's see, where do we start here? Let's start off with the frame rails. These are machined aluminum. They even have the RC four wheel drive logo etched in them. And of course it's for the long wheelbase. Uh, over here is some more machined aluminum parts, black anodized. It's your chassis cross braces. Here's your radio plate that is aluminum as well. And uh, over here is the transfer case mount, uh, all aluminum stuff. We've got aluminum shock hoops uh, over here is, oh, this looks like a pinion gear the, and the intermediate shaft, uh, kind of bouncing around, but uh, it, it is a kit just all spread out. Radio box, which also looks like a fuel tank. And then let's start to get into the really good stuff here. So we've got these aluminum shocks, nice looking scale shocks, uh, internal spring on these. Do we have internal springs? Yep, internal springs, which is pretty neat. And there are leaf springs to install as well to give it that real scale look. A little bit of a rigid feel when you're driving it, but hey, that is part of the fun. Now, the really, really cool stuff, the hammer transfer case, ball bearings, metal gears. I love the cast case on this really nice looking case. And then the transmission itself, the R3 transmission, again, a cast metal case, uh, aluminum motor plate. Looks like we've got a Delrin gear there with a slipper clutch. Uh, one of my favorite transmissions from RC four wheel drive. And then over here, check this out. The Yoda two axles. These are metal housings, uh, metal steering knuckles on here, <laughs> metal hexes, metal gears on the inside, ball bearings, really nice axles. Same for the rear except it's a straight axle. And then over here, uh, some of the hardware for the assembly, everything is nicely labeled. So you know what screw sizes are in each bag. And then I thought this was pretty neat. They went and packaged all of the greases and stuff that you're going to need in this little combo pack. Pretty cool shock oil. Uh, looks like uh, some thread lock and of course some grease for the gears. And then finally, we have the tires and wheels that come with it. These are the Rock Stompers 155s and uh, a little soft, a little sticky. Those might work really well. And then check these out. Stamped Yoda six lug wheels. Uh, nice looking wheel. And of course, you got to go assemble everything yourself. So that's got to take a little bit of time. But this is going to be a really fun kit to build. So it looks like I've got a lot of work ahead of me. If you're interested in this kit, I'll have links in the video description for you. If you want to see the finished rig, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Throw the video a like. We'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.